Let me just say this first. I think for many years, I had the definition of sacrifice all wrong. How many of you have heard a definition like this or similar to this? A sacrifice is something you don't really want to give up, but you do. That's not it. And that may not be what you've heard, but I did. I heard something similar to that over the years. You don't really want to let go, but you don't really want to give it up. That's why it's a sacrifice. No, it's a sacrifice because you give it all to God. It's a willing thing. If I'm giving it because I don't want to, it's not acceptable to God. Back to the Old Testament, back to Leviticus. You had to willingly do it. Not, oh man, God's making me give my best sheep. I know I got to do it because if I don't do it, then I'm in trouble, so I'm going to do it. That's not how it's supposed to be. He is God. Right. He is worthy. I'm going to give him this because he is God. Right. Because he is worthy. So we need to understand sacrifice. To sacrifice it means to give it wholly, completely. That's what it means. So when Paul said, let's go and give the sacrifice of God completely. We're placing it on that altar. That altar that is now here. With the fire that we have built for God to consume that sacrifice and carry it up to God. If we have that fire of God and we bring these things to God willingly, they are consumed and carried up to God. And back to what I said, when that happens, it becomes a sweet smelling savor. It pleases God and God moves and God works and God shows up. You've probably all heard God inhabits the praise of his people. That's not a scripture. Mm -hmm. But it's a constant. Because when these people really began to praise and worship God from an honest heart, in the manner prescribed by God, God came on the scene. So that's why it is said that God inhabits the praise of his people. If we come to God in that manner, as as I did last Sunday, and probably some of you did from the sound of the things last Sunday, we came, and I can tell you we came this way because I felt it not just in me, but in others. We came with a different attitude. That's right. We came with a different heart set. Mm -hmm. We came with a different mindset. We came with an attitude, a mindset, and a heart set that was acceptable to God. Not because it was just time to pray. Not because that's what everybody else is doing. But I think everybody came with a desire to really give to God. To really present themselves to God. Here I am. Mm -hmm. I really believe that's what happened. And I don't know what you experienced, what you felt, what God spoke to you, nothing. But I know what I experienced and felt and what God spoke to me and I know that what I experienced and thought of when God spoke to me was because of the way I came mm -hmm. and the way I presented my sacrifice at that point when I came last Sunday night I had a fire burning for God and it consumed it and carried it up to God I hope I put this together in a way that you can understand I think, maybe I shouldn't even say this, but uh, I think God a lot of times just want, wants to see how much I trust him. <laughs> because he'll just give me scattered thoughts until I'm standing here. I, he gives me the thoughts and I'm going, how? I'm like, I put this together and I try to put it together and I can't come up with anything. You'd think I'd learn by now. <laughs> Don't even try. Let God do it. But... I think if we can really get a hold of this and understand this and grasp this, what was experienced last Sunday night 
can continue, and not only continue, but increase. Mm -hmm. But this is a key that we have to understand. You gotta keep wood on. Right. You gotta keep putting wood on the fire. You can't just come here Sunday and, and the rest of the week there's nothing and come back Sunday and the rest of the week and keep expecting when you come back that everything's going to be pleasing to God, that everything's going to be acceptable, that God's going to move, that God's going to work. It, it's through the week that we've got to be putting the wood on the fire so that when we come to present the sacrifice, there's fire there to do the job, to do the work, to carry it up. Isaiah 24, 15, this is just a part of the verse that just jumped out at me. I'm going to give it to you. It says, Wherefore, glorify ye the Lord in the fires. And I may it don't mean anything to anybody else, but I, I think that's something God gave me as a little thing to just keep telling myself, as a reminder as I go through this life. To just keep glorifying God in the fire. Because I can't glorify God if I don't have the fire burning. I can say the words. I can think the thoughts. But if the fire's not burning, it's not being carried up before God. To be presented to God. I can keep going and, and really mess it up. But I'm not going to. I'm going to stop. And pray that you receive what God wants you to receive.